nothing like rider introductions at Monster Energy Supercross events, and especially when you're the championship leader like Monster Energy Yamaha's Justin Barsha. Main event, would Barsha feature like last week in Anaheim, where he went to the top of the podium. Well, he certainly got a good start and he put himself in contention early. Yeah, he did. Really aggressive around that first corner, making sure he was up front. That was a nice move. Speaking of up front, it was Zach Osborne on the Rockstar Husqvarna who got the whole shot and led early. Ken Roxon in pursuit. A really good beginning of the race for Zach Osborne. I gotta tell you, he wouldn't make it easy on the guys, but this was a fantastic pass that Ken Roxon put on him early. Roxon said afterwards, I had to do it. I had to get him out of the way if I stood a chance of winning this 450 main, and he executed beautifully. That's exactly what he did, Lee. Well, this guy right here, the number 51, a real incredible ride, especially when you think about him being under the weather. We didn't know that until his post-race interview on the podium there, and uh, I was glad to see Justin Barsha back up his performance from last year, or last weekend. Backed it up emphatically, so a first, and he would be riding on his way to second. That was Adam C. and Cirillo making a move on Zach Osborne. Osborne says, no way, not that fast. You don't get me that easily. No, that's exactly what he said. I'm a little surprised that Adam Cianzarulo made that move on Zach. I mean, I understand he wanted to get by him, but he knew that the one guy that would retaliate that way is Zach. Cianzarulo on Justin Brayton. He was working on that for a while, and he was lucky to hang on to his Kawasaki, but he was able to make that move stick. And Cianzarulo, and yes, it's take two on Zach Osborne, but this time he was able to get by the Husky rider. Yeah, a little more methodical, really planned his pass, making no contact, and he's able to set his sights forward. Meanwhile, up front, Ken Roxon was well and truly in control. Not sure if his wife Courtney was. She was looking a little nervous. Yeah, good for her, and, and, and Ken as well. I mean, just a, a really good ride. He'd been riding well all day long. He looked comfortable on the bike. It was almost a three-year winless streak and it all ended in St. Louis for the factory Honda rider to the delight of his wife. Emotional times. His career was almost over and he just showed tremendous resilience to be back on top of a Monster Energy Supercross podium. Roxon wins in St. Louis.